welcome back to my channel. So long time no see. I feel like I'm saying that in every single video now. I'm really sorry. So as you guys can probably see by the title, you guys already know what this video is about. It is about hermit crabs. One of my most highly requested animals to make videos about is always hermit crabs. Unfortunately, past their care and how to take care of them, they're kind of a difficult animal to film. I've talked about this a hundred million times on my channel, I feel like. Maybe not literally a hundred million, but a lot. Um, hermit crabs stay buried like 95% of the time that you own them. You rarely see them. They do come out at night to eat and soak and things like that. But other than that, they are buried throughout the entire day, usually keeping moist under the substrate or molting. And because they are buried so much and you never know really when they're molting, you can't just dig them up and hold them and be filming them. Um, it can really stress them out and they are very delicate creatures. It is a big no-no. However, today's video is kind of exciting. I'm sure you guys are probably excited about this if you love my hermit crabs because we are actually gonna be setting up the new tank that I bought. So I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to a pet reveal video where I would like show you guys the new pet. However, surprise, it is a third hermit crab. So basically, I think because it's a hermit crab, you guys probably understand why I couldn't really do like a pet reveal video showing it because he stays buried all the time as hermit crabs do. And so I wanted to give him two weeks to basically settle in because hermit crabs do stress really, really easily. They're very susceptible to that, especially whenever you bring them into your home or a new tank or move them or hold them or anything. They can actually die of just stress and shock pretty easily. They're pretty delicate. So I wanted to give him two weeks to settle in. But then a lot of other stuff happened in my personal life and I decided to wait a little bit longer to introduce him and I also wasn't really sure how I was gonna introduce him. So I guess this video is basically introduction to the new pet which is a third hermit crab because we are gonna be setting up this new tank for all three of them to live in. So I decided not to disturb him for a couple weeks and then we did locate him and Surprise, he's actually really big. Um, and I've had him for almost four weeks now, so I think it's time, I think he's okay, I don't think he's stressed, and I think it's gonna be safe to move him in here. So my other two crabs, I'm pretty sure are not molting. Obviously, if I go to get them out and I see that they are, I'll leave them alone, and then I'll have to move them in there at a later date. So we are gonna be setting this up for the hermit crabs today, and I'm pretty excited about giving them this upgrade, because it's like a huge upgrade. And what's funny is, if you guys remember the video where I bought this, I was like thinking this tank was way overkill, and I thought, I was like, you guys are gonna think this is crazy crazy to buy a tank this big for just three little hermit crabs. But I'm really glad that I decided to get this tank now because at the time I had no idea how big he was and now I know that he's pretty good size. So fingers crossed that everything goes smoothly and he adjusts well to the tank and everything. And then of course we are gonna move my little crabs in there as well. Um, and then I'm gonna monitor them and hopefully everything goes smoothly. And I think this tank is plenty big enough for all three of them, so. And you guys will be able to see him today because I am gonna go on and move him in here as well as my two crabs. Um, as long as they're not molting, obviously if they are, I'm gonna not disturb them and then I can move them in there later since I'm not tearing down their tank. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Surprise, I got a third hermit crab. And I know that I've always said like I was never gonna get any more. And I really did mean that, um, <laughs> but but I did feel bad for this crab because he was alone and he's been alone for quite a while and he is big and I'm hoping that they all get along really well. I'm gonna be monitoring them and hopefully everything goes smoothly. They definitely will have enough room in here, so. This Exoterra is the equivalent to a 40 gallon breeder tank. I forget the dimensions, maybe I'll write them on the screen, um, but it's absolutely massive. So I know this is plenty big enough and it also is super deep, so there will be a lot of substrate depth in there for them, so. Yeah, I'm really excited. Let's start setting it up. So we're gonna take the mesh lid off. All right, so I'm gonna leave the two front doors closed. Obviously this tank has these amazing front opening doors, which I absolutely love. Um, it's super nice. And just to show you guys, this is gonna be able to fit a lot of substrate. So that's my hand. I'm actually gonna get a thing and measure how deep this is. I'll actually do that right now. I'm gonna measure the front of this so we can get an idea of what the depth of the substrate's gonna be in this tank. Up to the door, it's six inches. So the front of this tank is six inches. I have a feeling I'm gonna do eight plus in the back of the tank. I usually do it in a slope. So six inches is gonna be the depth of the substrate at the front of this tank, which is great because that is the minimum for hermit crabs. Okay, I got two really big bags of Ecolor. This is the first one. Um, I've never got this brand before, but it is just natural coconut soil bedding, which is basically Eco Earth, just under a different name. It's a really, really big bag. So we're gonna wanna dump this one in first, and then I have another one. Go to the first bag. Okay. 
the second bag. And then we need to pour some water in there and get this really moist. There's, you can see that first bag was really moist, which is really good, but we do need more than that. So we'll have to dump some water in here. So I think that looks good. I think that's enough. I think that looks good, but we do need to get water in there um, and get that all mixed good. All right, I'm gonna bring you guys forward so you can see. This is my smaller chola wood or whatever, but my hermit crabs really love this. So I'm gonna put this one in there too. So we'll have two of them. And then I have a lot of these really large vines, which I'm also gonna put in there. I think they're really gonna love this. At least I hope they will. Here's another smaller one. So I'll have three in their total, which is pretty good. Here's a little wooden hide. They like to climb in and climb under. So put that in there. I also got a new bowl. I haven't decided if I want to use this for the salt water. I kind of do want to use it for the salt water because it is pretty good depth if you can see. So here are a couple of spare shells for the new hermit crab um, to move into. I know these are really big and I actually have a few more that I'm gonna put in there of my own that I've had forever that are way too big for my crabs. You guys can barely see me. Um, so I'm gonna go on and put these in there. He did come with these. So we're gonna put these in there but then I'm gonna go check in my collection and see if I have some more bigger ones. We'll put those in there for him. All right, so I have their fresh and salt water bowls in there. I still need to fill them up. So here is my Hermit Crab's food bowl. Um, it's actually their old water bowl, but I'm gonna use it as food dish now because I need a really big food dish. Why don't you guys see the water dishes? They're massive now, but again, I'm trying to compensate for my biggest crab because he is pretty large. So this is gonna be the new food dish for all of them. And you can see here, I have a really good variety. We've got some strawberry, some romaine, some bell pepper. I have a dried treat mix by FMR. I really, really like this dried treat mix. It's got coconut and papaya in it and it smells so heavenly. You can see there's little mealworms. There's also some FMR pellets. And then I have some freeze dried vegetables, peas, and things like that. So a really good variety. Some people don't like feeding hermit crabs like FMR pellets or the, the fruit, the dried fruit treats and things like that but I've fed them for 10 years. I've never had an issue, but you just have to make sure that you give a really good variety. I always say, give your hermit crabs variety, give them fruit, give them veggies, give them proteins like mealworms and things like that, and they will love it. So that is what I am feeding my hermit crabs. All right guys, so I am about to boil these hermit crab shells. Um, I know this looks kind of crazy because these are massive, but I have a video on my channel about how to pick hermit crab shells and where to buy them. And I showed these shells in that. So I'm heating these and then these are actually shells that my smaller hermit crabs will be able to fit into. These are just some bigger ones. You can see here, see they're dirty. I'm just gonna boil them before we put them in there. I'm just gonna let these keep heating and then we will sanitize them and then put them in the tank. All right, so here is the new heat pad. It's a really nice one and we're gonna go on and put it on this warm end down here. Honestly, we could actually put another one on that end down there and then the middle would be the cool side. So I might actually do that so that it will keep this tank warm. All right, so the heat pad is on there really good. And I probably could put one down there on that end too. It might actually be a good idea too. All right guys, here's the overview of the hermit crab tank. It is basically finished. I'm just gonna add in some more shells for the bigger crab. I only have one in there right now. Um, these are some for my smaller crabs, but I know one of my crabs just molted into a new shell and he moved, so he probably won't be moving for a while. Um, I don't know which one it was because they're getting so similar now. It's really hard to tell SpongeBob and Gunner apart now, but I do have four shells. I'm going to add some more as well, but I want to wait until I see how big the biggest crab is and then I'll choose which ones. But basically, there are some empty shells there. I'm going to add more. There's the food, which I showed you guys, the salt water, and then the fresh water, which I got filthy whenever I tried moving around some stuff. As you can see, I kind of got the water dirty, but it is clean. I just added it. So I have this giant dish. I know that it's really big, um, and obviously it's kind of messed up, but it is clean water. Same with the salt water. I just added that in there. And then all of the foliage and stuff. I could add more, even more plants and stuff, but because the dishes are so big, and this is a 40 gallon tank, um, but this water dish is massive. It's like a lot bigger in here than I thought, um, but they can bury underneath it, bury back there. They can bury 
berry, sounds weird. Um, they could obviously dig and molt and stuff. All back here underneath all of these plants, there's tons and tons of room. We've got the big chola woods here. I have three of them. They look good and then I have some of the plants and then we have obviously the moist substrate, but I think it turned out really well and now I'm going to move, I think I'm gonna go on and put the biggest crab in here and then I think I'll add my crabs to it because um, he's the biggest and I wanna make sure that he can like get in here and see how big he is and adjust and stuff and I will show him to you guys. Okay guys, so I'm at the end of filming this video. I've already sat up the entire tank and I have some really bad news. Um, I just went into the Big Hermit Crabs quarantine tank, um, the crab that we're moving in here with mine. Um, I've had him four weeks now and I've only seen him one time in the four weeks because I did not wanna bother him, did not wanna stress him, didn't wanna disturb him at all. Um, so I just went to dig him up because I was gonna move him and he unfortunately has passed away I'm really 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 sad about that. That really sucks. Um, I was afraid this would happen hermit crabs are so Delicate the reason I didn't know that he passed away until right now is because I'm filming the video and I'm only gonna dig him up one time I'm only gonna move him one time mess with him one time because I'm very very strict about how little I hold my crabs. Hermit crabs are so sensitive. They do not do well with stress. They can pass away even in the best conditions if you dig them up, if you disturb them, moving their tank from one location to another, um, anything like that. They can just stress really easily and it's really unfortunate that he has passed away. I know I say this in every single hermit crab video that I have, but I just wanna remind you guys that even though I have hermit crabs and I make educational videos on their care, I in no way endorse people buying hermit crabs and keeping them as pets. Um, I honestly believe that they should not be in the pet trade. The, the mortality rate in hermit crabs and in the hermit crab community is terrible. It is so sad. They're just so delicate. And all of the hermit crabs that you see in stores are taken from the wild. Um, they are all wild caught and it's really, really sad. Most of them don't even make it to the store. They're treated really inhumanely and it's really, really sad. So if you do want hermit crabs, as always, I encourage you to adopt. Go on Craigslist, Facebook, hermit crab groups, wherever you gotta go and find some that need homes like I did with this one that sadly passed away. Like always, I don't suggest buying them. I really don't support the trade. I don't support the industry. And yeah, if you want some, please adopt. Um, that is something that you can do. It's what I tried to do, but again, just beware. They are very sensitive, so if you do everything right and one passes away, it's probably not your fault. Just remember that because it's just it's just how they are. They're just very sensitive creatures. This tank is kind of overkill for my two crabs. I mean, they're medium sized. They're over here in a bowl of water soaking because I'm about to put them in. Um, because I've set this up. I've used all this product, the food, the water, everything is ready to go. So I think I'm just gonna put my crabs in there and my two crabs are just gonna live in here together. Um, and yeah, I think I'm just gonna take advantage of the tank because I have set it up and I you know, don't wanna waste all this product and I'm obviously not gonna return the tank. It has Eco Earth all in it, you know, I've used it. So I guess we're just gonna go on and put SpongeBob and Gunner in there and Hopefully they do fine. They'll just have a lot more room and a hecka bigger tank, a lot bigger tank. Uh, honestly, probably a lot bigger than they need, but still I think that they'll enjoy it and you know, they can grow and molt and everything and they'll have just tons of room now. So, all right, so here are my two crabs. Um, I believe that this is SpongeBob. He's the bigger one. You can see his beautiful claw there. He's so pretty. He's really shy though. He's not gonna come out. And then here is what I believe is Gunner. He's the smaller one, but he's still a pretty good size. You can see him there. I don't wanna stress him out too much by holding him a lot or anything, but you can see him there. And then I do believe that this is SpongeBob. Look how gorgeous that purple painter is. It's so beautiful. And then like I said, I think that this is Gunner. He's usually my smaller one and his shell's a little bit smaller. And he is beautiful. You can see him there. I don't wanna hold him too long, but I did wanna show you guys them because you guys always wanna see them. And I've had them such a long time that I know you guys love them. So we're gonna go on and put them in their new tank so we don't stress them out a bunch and then we will show them exploring.
All right, so Gunner will take you first since you're the most wild one. So there you go. You can go in there first. And then here is SpongeBob. So we'll just lay him here by the little shell mall and then he can go wherever he would like. And then we will watch them explore. Have fun crawling around exploring. This tank is so massive. So just to give you an idea, there's SpongeBob and then like here's the whole tank. So big. Gunner's back there in the weeds crawling around. And SpongeBob is still curled up and like not moving. He's alive, don't worry. He's just gonna be shy and take a while to come out. All right guys, that is it for this hermit crab tank setup video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I am really sorry about the newest hermit crab not making it. Um, like I said earlier, whenever I found out, that is sadly a real part of owning hermit crabs. They are extremely delicate and anytime you adopt one, you can give them a month in quarantine and not touch them like I did. And unfortunately, sometimes they just pass away. They can sense their surroundings, they can sense stress, and it's really sad, but I really did my best and I hate that he didn't make it, but I did know that that was a real possibility and it's something that you experience when you own hermit crabs. You kind of learn how sensitive they really are, which is why I always say, do not dig your hermit crabs up, do not stress them out, do not hold them, don't move them around a lot or clean out their tank a whole lot, like every month or anything like that. Um, every few months is fine, but make sure they have plenty of room, everything they need, fresh water, salt water, make sure it's dechlorinated, fresh water, salt water, and plenty of fruits, veggies, and protein varieties. I do think my crabs are gonna enjoy the new tank. I'm just sorry that the new pet couldn't join them. I hope you guys enjoyed this hermit crab video and I will see you guys next time. Be kind, bye.